Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know I review many photographic or video related products. And I've been asked recently, in fact I'm always being asked, what is my favourite compact camera? But the question really should be, what is a compact camera? Now, is it a camera that's small enough to fit in a pouch? Something like this little pouch I use all the time with my little Sony, uh, well, it's not the Sony ZV-1, where's my little Sony ZV-1? Um, with my little Sony ZV-1 or my ZV-1 Mark II, um, or even uh, my little uh, Panasonic Lumix uh, GM-1, um, and even my little Olympus, which is somewhere here, oh, here it is. Um, my little Olympus. Actually, this little Olympus is years old. It's only 10 megapixel, but the image quality is gorgeous. It's really a sort of a retro looking image, but it's really nice. It's very, very filmic looking as opposed to digital looking. Um, but I need to ask the question really, what, what is defined as a compact camera nowadays? Because a lot of manufacturers seem to be thinking the likes of a Fuji X106 and five and four and three and what have you, are compact cameras, but they won't fit in a little pouch. They're far too big to fit in a pouch and more of the size of this uh, Panasonic GX80, um, which again is one of my favorite little Micro Four Thirds compact cameras. Um, it's a 16 megapixel Micro Four Thirds sensor in here, but the image quality is pretty decent, you know. Uh, so uh, they would define that as a compact camera. I, design, I define it as a uh, small camera, lightweight, well, fairly, actually it's quite heavy, the uh, GX80, but it's small enough to fit in a small pouch, a small camera bag, but it's not for, small enough to fit in a pouch you can put on your belt, you know, like this sort of one. Um, now, I personally think a compact camera should be like the likes of a Ricoh GR3, um, the Sony, uh, if you're looking at current models, one of the Sony RX models, maybe the RX107, or the Sony ZV models. This is the original ZV-1 uh, with its uh, flip-out screen, 20 megapixel, one-inch sensor in here. Um, I'm actually getting the close-up shot of this ZV-1 with my new ZV-1 Mark II. Um, it's pretty much identical size, so it fits in the pouch just as easily as what the, the original ZV-1 does. So I would class this as a compact camera, but is it my favorite compact camera? Probably not, because um, when I class my uh, Fuji X-T50 uh, as a compact camera, I probably would, but it won't fit in the pouch. It does fit, fit in a small camera bag, uh, but that's uh, got a 40 megapixel APS-C sensor in. So a much better sensor inside here. Uh, obviously it's a much better, it's a bigger sensor, um, not just bigger in uh, size, uh, physical size, but bigger in uh, number of pixels on the sensor. So it's 40 megapixels on this, so ideal for cropping if you need to crop. Um, and it's got the tilty multi screen, which I prefer for photography as opposed to the three inch articulating screen. So, yeah, really, really nice little camera, this one. Um, or, um, even better still, for compactness, if I really do want a small camera bag, I take out my little Fuji XA5, which is uh, this one here. This has a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor in. Now, that to me is a better option than the likes of a Ricoh GR3, because a Ricoh GR3 has the APS-C sensor, but it has no viewfinder, likewise this one doesn't, but um, it's, uh, it's um, a fixed lens, where this one, I can take the lenses off and I can choose what focal length I want, as opposed to being restricted with a lens that comes with a Ricoh GR3. So, um, and that's a thousand pounds, that Ricoh GR3, uh, where this one second hand is way under that. It's about three or 400 pounds, if not less. Um, I got this one quite a bit less than that, but I uh, got this from MPB. Um, but um, again, it's really nice. And it's got the touchscreen, tilty realty touchscreen. Um, and the image quality from the XI, XA5 is stunning. It's really, really nice. There's a few quick images I've taken here. They're sharp. Again, because you can change the lenses, you're not restricted to what lens you're going to use with your XA5 or any of your interchangeable lens cameras, uh, but incredibly compact. Uh, so, you know, I would class it as a compact camera, but not a portable camera, whereby if I just literally wanted to go out uh, and not take really any gear with me. I would stick the little Sony um, 
invis pouch or possibly even my little olympus the little sony invis pouch slots in here without any trouble whatsoever that will just slide straight into the pouch oops don't drop the pouch slide that straight into the pouch and off i go put that on my belt off i go jobs are good un. um but if i'm looking for image quality um, particularly if i know i'm going to be going indoors i would take the xa5 in a very small camera bag or just an ordinary bag um and the XA5, I say, produces crispy, crispy, nice images. Um, I will leave a link to my Flickr page in the description of this video. So if you want to take a look at the XA5, I'll leave a link to the, uh, the clips of the Fuji X-T50 as well. So you can see uh, what the X-T50 images are like. Um, and I might as well leave a link to my uh, ZV-E10 because this, again, is a really, really compact camera with interchangeable lenses. Uh, 26 megapixel sensor inside the uh, ZV-E10 Mark II. Um, but yeah, the XA5, great images, great clarity, great sharpness. Um, and it's an old sensor, uh, but it's a decent sensor. And you can buy them, as I said, at a pretty decent price on the second-hand market. We don't make this camera anymore, but you can buy it uh, on the second-hand market at a pretty decent price. So... Um, yeah, uh, but I say I'm just asking the question really, what does constitute a compact camera to be able to say which of these cameras or one of the others would be classed as my favorite compact camera? Or would a mobile phone be classed as your compact camera? They're taking great images now. You think of the, uh, the um, Apple iPhone. I've got the iPhone 15 Pro here. Could I could have even picked up my uh, Google Pixel 8 Pro? Uh, but you get the iPhone 15 Pro. Um, I've got it with its uh, with a grip I bought separately. I leave a link where you can get this grip from. But this grip turns the iPhone into um, quite a quite a professional compact camera uh, because of the um, uh, grip space, and it's got a battery in this grip, so you can charge the phone up while you're using it. So um, it's called a snap grip. Um, literally, is magnetic and snaps onto the back of a phone, even with a case on the phone. And you've got yourself a pretty decent compact camera there. Uh, so maybe some people would class your mobile phone as your compact camera. Takes, they do take great images um, and are pretty decent and pretty compact. So with the grip, that reduces its compactness. It's not quite as compact as it would be, obviously, without the grip. But I find it, the reason why I don't like mobile phones, if I haven't got that grip, I just find it, how do you, see, I want to hold it like that. I want to hold it like a conventional camera, but you can't. You have to sort of, I don't know, hold it like that and get your fingers in front of a lens, which way round do you hold it, um, and it don't tilt. So if you're doing low angle or high angle, you're a bit, well, you can't, well, you can take them, but you're kind of guesswork as to the composition. So I'm not a big fan of using mobile phones for photography purely because of its ergonomics and its ease of use. Not because of the image quality, but because of its, because of its ease of use. Should a compact camera have a viewfinder? Well, I mean, that's another question. Uh, vast majority of them don't have viewfinders, but you can get some really nice compact cameras with viewfinders. You look at the uh, Panasonic GX80. Again, not pocketable, but it has got a viewfinder. And it's got in-body image stabilization in this camera and interchangeable lenses. Uh, it is a 16 megapixel sensor, as I said earlier, but that has got a viewfinder. If you do look, if you do want a compact camera with a viewfinder, something like this. And also, they're not expensive on the second-hand market. So something like the GX80 and also the Sony RX100 range. All the RX1 or most of the RX100 range have a little uh, snap-up uh, uh, viewfinder. Um, so I'll leave a link again at the end of this video uh, to my review of the Sony RX100 Mark 7. I haven't got it on the table here, but um, yeah, the RX100 6 or 7 or 5 could, you know, could be the ideal compact camera because it does have a viewfinder. So there you go. I haven't answered the question, which is my favourite compact camera, because it's how you define a compact camera. My favourite small camera, I guess, uh, what I can put in a pouch would definitely be my Sony ZV-1, it's already in the pouch, my little Sony ZV-1 Mark II, although this happens to be the ZV-1. So that would be my favourite um, uh, go anywhere, still stick it in a pouch camera. If I'm looking for 
going out for a camera, a small camera, but I don't want to take a lot of gear, I would either take my little uh, Fujifilm XA5, um, albeit it has no viewfinder, but it's a great, great little uh, compact camera, um, and uh, either the, or both, the ZV-E10, uh, which I love, uh, but my favorite is my Fuji uh, Fujifilm X-T50. It's got the viewfinder, it's got the in-body image stabilization, it's got the interchangeable lenses, and it's got the 40 megapixel uh, um, sensor, APS-C sensor. So it's great, it's got everything, and the tilty royalty screen, but I prefer for photography. So, you know, that would be my uh, favorite compact camera, but not small enough to fit in a pouch, it would have to go in a little bag. So. There we go. I don't know if that helps, but that's my answer to what is my favorite compact camera. Um, the answer really is what do you define as a compact camera? Uh, so there we go, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Hit the like button if you like the content of this video, and please share it if you think other people might find it useful. Thanks very much. Cheers for now. Bye.